Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Xverse mobile wallet. Xverse is a Stax mobile wallet and I have not used it yet, but you guys uh, can see I have my screen hopefully overlaid on top and you're just going to go to the app store. I already have it typed in. You can just type in Xverse, that's X-V-E-R-S-E -E, and uh, you know, just go ahead and download that. So that took about no time at all. And um, I'm going to assume this is like just about every other wallet I've set up. There's probably going to be some sort of like seed phrase. So you're just going to want to make sure you have, uh, you know, a piece of paper and pencil ready to write down your, your, your seed phrase, which is basically like your password to help you restore in case, you know, you were to lose your phone or get it stolen or something like that. You can always like recover your uh, NFTs and cryptocurrency through the seed phrase. So just go ahead and click on new wallet. You know, terms of service accept. I'm definitely, as soon as the words pop up, I'm definitely gonna like not have that. So they popped up right away. So next thing it's gonna have you uh, re-enter the words just to make sure you got them in the right order. Okay, so after you've done that, it's gonna ask you what level of security you can have uh, basic security or enhanced security, and it gives you kind of a description of what's the difference. I'm just gonna do the basic security for now. Uh, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set a pin. So I'm definitely going to have the screen go away now so you guys can't see my pin. And then it's going to ask you if you want to uh, use biometric authentication. Okay, so now we are inside the wallet. As you guys can see, the user interface is very sleek, uh, pretty intuitive. It looks like at the top we have our address. You know, uh, right underneath you have the balance, you're able to send and receive. It looks like you can click uh, and you can scan a QR code. But the uh, managed tokens come default with stacks and Bitcoin. You have a tab for your NFTs, you can receive your NFTs, people can send them to you like uh, just by scanning your QR code. It looks like there's a tab that shows you your earnings because you are able to actually stacks, uh, stack your stacks. Uh, that's the process where you lock up your stacks and earn stacks rewards. You can actually do that on this mobile wallet. And that's just really cool, guys. This is definitely the first mobile wallet I'm aware of that allows you to do something that advanced. Yeah, just one thing that's noteworthy, there's the settings, um, is just how incredibly clean this looks. Uh, the I, I, I've been saying a long time that the user experience matters. We're not going to be able to unbank the banked if the apps look like, you know, your local DMV's uh, website. You know, we need uh, some good facing user interface and user experience. I'm actually going to go ahead and send myself some stacks from Coinbase just so, uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Um, and I'll have a link in the description. If you guys want to you know, buy some stacks, you can do so on Coinbase. Go ahead and use my referral code. Uh, it will mean a lot to me, helps me keep this channel going. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna send myself some stacks and then we'll be back once it's arrived in the wallet. Okay, so the tokens have arrived in the wallet. That took like 10 minutes from Coinbase to arrive. One thing I do want to point out while we're here is if you want to receive Bitcoin, you see the wallet down there address. The address is actually different than if you want to receive stacks. So you just need to be aware of that, that they're different based off of which one you want to receive into the wallet. But well, um, I'm not gonna send myself an NFT, but I think it's really cool that the wallet can hold NFTs. And we're not gonna stack on Xverse today. 
but maybe in the future I'll do a video about how to do that. Um, we'll see. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll have a link so you guys can download Xverse and let me know what you think in the comments about the app. If you guys have any questions uh, or any thoughts, let me know. Peace.